Uh, it's computer noises. You're gonna clear the chatter. We're trying to launch a satellite here. Yeah. Uh, go, go, go. Is that what that is? That what the launching site actually look, would look like? Uh, that's what the Russian launching launching site looks like. I assume if we did um, the American Explorer one round Sputnik, it looked like Florida. Mm. That's what a rocket sounds like, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing fine. We're already on four, and we're fine. So satellite deployment. Put it out of the rocket. Go baby, go baby. Okay. Go baby. Earth orbit. We're orbit. at 66. It's better than coin toss. Come on, come on. That looks success. Like, yeah, I was gonna say that image looks different than the yeah. last one. We did it. Hey, so we we, we orbited Earth. We neat. We got back our prestige points that we lost from the first time, yeah. and I think and then we're breaking. Started. And we got patches. You get um, <sighs> like achievements, I guess. Can you, you print them out? And sew them to your clothes. Yeah, like a, a sash to wear. Yeah. And then when you go to the Buzz Aldrin convention, you're like, I got all the patches. Is this a Buzz Aldrin convention? It should be. Okay. I don't think there is. We could start one. <laughs> Just go up to his house. Hey, Buzz. Two people is enough for a convention, I would yeah. say. Um, so yeah, you get um, patches. Like we got yeah. the radio signals emitted because we did that because our thing succeeded, and we got Earth orbit of a satellite and yeah. basic satellites. So we got we got the basics of space exploration down. Take that. People opposed to space travel. Yeah, good job. We're gonna land on the moon. Uh, Let's see. We've achieved these goals. Our guys are happy. Sputnik has reached maximum reliability. Those are ready to be assigned. Uh, we have a successful mission. Everything's good job. And now that we've uh, succeeded. Yeah. Or, um, now we now we've succeeded. That we have more missions we can do now. So we can send lunar probes or sun probes. <laughs> Probing the sun. <laughs> You'll land on the surface of the sun to measure. Just say, can you? Get a su solar lander. <laughs> Somehow I don't feel that's uh, an option. Wait a minute. Go back to that last page. Mm, some and probes. I just noticed that the, our solar system seems to not really be to scale here. <laughs> um, hey, wait a minute. Count those planets. One, two, one, two three, three, four. four five, six, no, that's seven, the moon. Eight. Oh, shit. You, you counted the moon. <laughs> one, one, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven. We're not counting Pluto? This is after the Neil but deGrasse no, Tyson revelation. Yeah, because we're in 1958. Yeah. Um, I want to land on Pluto. Game developers, get on the... No. This isn't historically accurate. So, what? Lunar probes. Yeah, ooh, lunar probes. Lunar flyby, lunar impact, lunar orbit, lunar lander probes, moon 15, a return one. That one never succeeded in real life. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and then there's also some... What are you... Oh, you should just pause it here. Oh, okay. Uh, cut... So anyway, we continue. Uh, yeah, we're gonna cup of coffee and we're ready to go again. Sure. All right. Yes. Um, so last time on Buzz All in Space Program Manager, we did we got a satellite. Yeah. Our next step is Pluto. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> What's the logical next? Uh, I think uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to get someone actually up there. So X fifteen. See what does our advisor say? For non Braun. <laughs> I believe this. Yeah, you, know, you said that the first time. <laughs> um, okay. It's at like right now. It's at seventy. And max is seventy-eight. Ah, uh, let's wait. I mean, what, we have a. That's eight percent. The game. The game might. You know, you might read this as the game. Well, it's only eight percent. We're sending a person. I think we yeah. deserve like to try to tell that to the astronaut <laughs> or is the astronaut's we, wife. It's like yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. Well, that's actually that reminds me of a story I read. Um, <laughs> We think we'll be okay. We could make it safer, but we're just gonna go ahead and go now. Like, on uh, on Apollo, we wouldn't. We don't want to wait a day. <laughs> Has to go now. Uh, no, on Apollo Eight, when the first time mankind went to the moon, did the lunar orbital mission came back. First time we ever went to deep space. Um, the flight director was like off duty because mm -hmm. he had a place we could go and take over so we could go sleep. And he was talking to the wife of one of the astronauts on the mission, and like she asked him, like, so like they're gonna get back, right? And like he actually said, I don't know if he said it as a joke, but he's like, well, I think we got a decent 50-50 shot of getting them back. Jeez. And like, I think, I don't know if that was like a joke or if he was like actually being serious. He could have been really drunk. <laughs> That's the other possibility. I have no idea. Um, so let's, oh, we should also check out the other probes we got. Do you want to send a probe to the moon or a probe to the sun? Well, what, what is, what are we going to, oh, actually what we should do um, is start another one of, because like we sent Sputnik up. Okay. Yeah. It sent temperature, but there's others that we can send up as well. Yeah. Because like, and then we'll get prestige from this stuff, yeah. right? Well, uh, I believe... And we're pretty good at launching satellites now, so yeah. we can do a decent job. So oh, and I see. So then we have like more people because we have all these different projects yeah. going on at the same time. Um, Space I, race, begin! <laughs> I think we can skip um, Explorer because that's... 
Well, actually, this, it was not no, like well, there's two spawning missions. There's the first one you get, and there's the extended mission. Watch. Um, is it, what's what's the difference? I don't know. Uh, this mission. Wait. That's uh, that's Earth. Earth. Spawn oh, we're sending out further. Okay. Um, so yeah, that because this is what. That's know. Earth. Yeah. <laughs> So this is That's, uh, Earth Two. <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure out what these because each one says it's the extended mission, but how do you tell which is how? Maybe you do two extended missions. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, but I want to see what does this reliability penalization. No. Uh, this mission involves side ray. Okay. Um, we already did that one. Cause see, we got our little patches that we got last time. Yeah, but then what's the difference between? The regular one and the extended one. I, I don't know if, if you want to do it again. Uh, let's do it again. I guess it's a safe bet. Yeah. Safer bet. I wouldn't really call any sending anything yeah. to space <laughs> a safe bet. Yeah. Um, let's do another one and just it'll boost our prestige and more. I want it all more. We get more money to do more things. Yeah. To go back into space. What's the Neil deGrasse Tyson quote? Um, like the amount they spend on NASA. Oh, it's in like the state it's age. like. It's like less than a penny per it's person. It's like 13% of one penny per person. That's insane. Yeah. So so if every yeah, like if every person just gave one penny, it would like be what? 8 7, seven or 8 times yeah. the NASA yearly budget. Which another interesting fact is that the last year NASA's budget was actually raised was in 1966. Wow. Before we even landed on the moon. What? Before we even had to like the before Nobody, the Apollo program had flown, they'd already start to cut the funding. Nobody thought to like Let's spend like just a little bit more money <laughs> after we got to the moon. Like, well, the thing is, public support for um, the moon missions really dried up after the first couple missions. And, like, Apollo, we already got there. Yeah, because like Apollo fourteen, like the newspaper headline instead of being heroic astronaut lands on the moon is like two klutzes on moon. What? Like people really stopped caring and it was really sad. And okay. they got really interested when Apollo thirteen happened because oh, disaster in space. Yeah, but pretty quickly, like all why the... did they stop caring? Like, well, can, you don't want to build a moon base? I want to build a moon base. It really goes back to Kennedy. Also, you have to say it like that. Like, put this base. weird, yeah, emphasis on moon base. Moon base. base. The, the old English pronunciation of yeah. moon base. But no, because um, the whole thing was Kennedy's, yeah, we're going to go to the moon and get him back by the end of the decade. Mm. And we did that. And then that was sort of in the public's mind what this whole thing was about. Well, and, stupid American public. Yeah, I agree. Anyways. Um, if the whole point... It's like American dream is you always want more and more and more. And I want it all. Climb that social ladder yeah. more and like you get, but then you just apply it to space. It's like, yeah, we had a really, we had like, we, we, had did, we did it once. We had an achievable goal and we achieved it, and I guess that's it. It's Don't like, be logical on this. Be yeah. logical on like banking. But like moon missions, just be completely logical with. Just do it all. Mm, Anyways, uh, launching Sputnik two. Wait, we're already launching. Wait, how did you do that? I was not. I just was assigned missing assigned people and oh because they're already all ready to go and we yeah, did this because we did the research already okay well that was fast well yeah because we're just doing another one basically yeah just to, to prove so, the first one wasn't a fluke or the second one wasn't a fluke because the first one failed but anyways um, so this one is this one recording just temperature again uh, it's the extended mission maybe I don't the game doesn't tell me. I'll make a note of that and ask about that. Temperature and air pressure. Ah. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> For both. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this is the same. This yeah. success screen. Because it's like a little art image, so yeah. I think if you... If you know which ones are successful. I'm guessing like by the t if you play this game for a little while, you'll probably already instantly know which yeah. screens look like success screens and which ones look like the uh, the Buzz Aldrin race in space one from ninety five did the same thing where it had like it had actually like archival footage of stuff being launched mm. and you could tell right away oh I saw that one that means that, oh. that component failed and such so I imagine that that's... oh it's still in progress oh because it's gonna stay there for a while ah, I'm guessing I assume that's what I thought satellites did though. They just orbited. And then <laughs> it did one orbit, we got one we like, data point, and then we yeah, just shut it off. We kept it. We kept them there. We don't have the funding to keep it running, actually. <laughs> we, can't, we can't afford to keep it in orbit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it costs. Each revelation costs like $1,000, right? I, 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 That's, don't, I don't know. To send more rockets up to keep it going. I don't know. Uh, are, is there stuff that like would fall if other w you didn't get it at high enough? I don't know I enough mean, about physics. If it's, if it's not going fast enough to be in orbit, it would fall back down. That's true. But like once it's up there, like once the satellite's so, up yeah, there, it's like yeah, like the like the question I asked you last time about 
or not last time, but like earlier about that the guy. What's his name? He jumped the the highest, like yeah. the highest man yeah. jump. What do you? It was like a hundred thousand miles. Something like that. Like something insane. Yeah. He's in space. Yeah. And just rode up there on a balloon. <laughs> He's like the master chief. He's just jumping through the atmosphere. He's got like a really catchy name, but I forgot. It. Johnny something. Johnny breaking fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He did have. If you've seen any documentaries on him, there was. I guess when they went up and he has his pressure suit. Um, as he's climbing, like it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be pressurized because oh. there's no air pressure, and like a leak, there's like a leak in one of his arms oh. in like the suit, and so the way like the air pressure works is that all the blood started pooling in his hand because it wouldn't circulate yeah. because of air pressure, and he's still ascending like he was only like, I think <laughs> two thirds of the way up doing it. No, no. And he's in communication with the people the Cap whole God. time. Yeah. <laughs> And he and then, and then I've seen in documentaries after the fact he's recounting the event. He said like he yeah he was like kind of worried, but he didn't want to scare um, the controllers. Yeah. And he didn't want to say anything because he knew that if he did, they probably would have like canceled, canceled it. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm just gonna keep going up, even though blood is pooling in his hand. <laughs> oh god. And, like, then he just jumps. And, I don't know. Well, that's like on uh, Apollo 13 when they did reentry. Um, they couldn't get the spacecraft coming exactly the right reentry angle because they had calculated the entry angle based on having like an additional 300 pounds of moon rocks. <laughs> and of course they didn't have those. And they're like, well, should we tell them? And it's like, well, there's nothing they can do about it, so <laughs> might as well not. The same thing with uh, John Glenn's orbital mission. Uh, the first orbital mission by the U.S. was that they thought his heat shield had come loose. And it's like, well, should we tell him? There's nothing to do about it. So like they said, okay, we recommend you don't jettison your retro because that was what was holding it on. Mm. So we recommend you don't retro that. It's like, do you have a reason for that? And they're like, uh, no. <laughs> but they just lied to him. And then afterwards, he was like, guys, if something goes wrong like that, you need to tell me. <laughs> yeah. And it turns out that actually it wasn't loose. It was just a, like a computer glitch sent in bad yeah. feed. Well, like, I'm assuming that if these astronauts have like the wherewithal to be cool under that kind of pressure yeah. you might want to just tell them So, because if they're smart enough to figure out a solution then they know yeah. whereas just not telling them is pretty dangerous anyways. yeah plus like if yeah anyways um, I'm assuming they go up there knowing that something like that can happen you're not really I'm guessing that you're not really sparing them anything to yeah. hide information from them only the other way around from what I've learned <laughs> from astronaut documentaries <laughs> they just don't tell NASA what's going on like no we're fine yeah. we'll just handle it like um, fighting off aliens <laughs> What's going on up there? Uh, anyways, do you want to get another satellite? Which yes. Is a more advanced one. So this one... Do you want more uh, micrometeorites, micrometeorites um, study satellite. Before we start doing this, I'm noticing our funds are, like, diminishing. We're still oh, yeah. spending, like, a lot. Maybe we should wait and uh, get the X-15 flying. Yeah. And uh, having our other satellite mission in progress completed before we yeah. do more. How's that? Uh, it's at 76. The max is 78. I think that's pretty good now. Good to go. Uh, oh. oh, oh, we have to sign because it's still going. Uh, yeah, no one's driving this thing. <laughs> so we have to, that's weird. Um, that's I would. Uh, that's, these are the, yeah, these are the same people. Yeah, at the same time, I kind of question that you have to reassign it because, like, you assume they would still be working on it since. I don't know. Like, they might have a contract, and <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, we want God, another thousand dollars. Otherwise, we're not going back to work. Yeah, well, we're not going to re up. It's like, it's a okay. <laughs> I I don't know. Yeah. I don't do. Advanced experiments. Yeah, what order. could happen that would like? Well, they're running the experiments now, so like they. Can, oh, okay, okay. Success. Sorry, I just again, I, I saw, all I see is like Earth's orbit like failure. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, we, uh, yeah. Season two of three, so I'm guessing this is meant to look, run for three another, another one, yeah. one more season. And yeah, we uh, succeeded in doing advanced experiments, uh, advanced temperature taking, both in <laughs> Celsius and Fahrenheit. <laughs> Let's check on the X-15. Because I think that one's ready to go. Mm. Let's ask Von Braun just to be sure. What do you think, Mr. Braun? Is that the I, way he talked? Well, he was German. Yeah, but, like, did he really talk that way? Probably not. Okay. I believe it is safe to launch the mission. He lived in the United States for, like, a long time. Yeah, right? after the war. Yeah. Was, we, How long did he live? Um, like what he, year did he die? He died in I have the 80s? No, I have no idea. That's pretty, he lived pretty long. It's weird that I would have no idea. <laughs> I mean, you'd think I'd have some idea. Oh, we need to have four flight controllers for this one. So oh. we need to hire someone. Oh, and then we're going to have to train them, too. <laughs> we need you to really, like, step up the well, ball and train. On. Yeah, well, who do we, what do we need for this? Um, crew and payloads, because it's a man flight. Okay. So we want someone really good. Well, uh, Danielle, you just Ooh, go What about uh, Jam Jamal? Jamal? Kingsley. Uh, or what about... No, 
was. Uh, uh, that's also really. Let's go with that one. Yeah. And then. Um, Ish. Look at look at Milagros Lafon. Oh wow, he's really good overall. That I I don't actually. Like overall stats are really high. Let's what get on board. is the name Milagros? Brazilian? I don't know. It sounds like it could be some sort of. Uh, but look at those stats. Yeah, he's on higher than. We we didn't have a job for you yet, but we just like the way you look, so we're gonna <laughs> hire you. Man, if only things work that way today. I know, right? Um, so last season. And yeah, now it's that. Because we forgot that we need to hire people. <laughs> Guys, you didn't hire uh, boosters. Oh, we have all these other people now. Oh yeah. Uh, well, let's just wait. How come? How come? Like these guys that we just picked. Oh, are because ready to go? we clicked end turn. So it ended the turn, and that process they're training. I think. Oh, so. Okay. So now, because this thing counts as the next turn. I see. Or an inter turn. Well, I thought we were pretty good with who we had before. Yeah, I was gonna keep uh, the classics going. <laughs> I just noticed the age. I hope some of these people last all the way through. That'd be cool, I mean, yeah. we're only going to like the moon landing, so that's like what another decade. Yeah. Well, the thing is, um, in sandbox, you, you can just keep going if you want. And also, <laughs> do people live forever? <laughs> uh, no, because people we do retire. We uh, discover the secrets of immortality, of space, in s <laughs> space immortality. Use the magic blood of zero from gravity. Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> go away now, Con. Con. <laughs> Success. Ah, successful mission. Yeah. And we're finished the last season. And we earned, is that an additional four? That's an additional four hundred thirty-eight on top of like the Ooh. other three hundred we earned. We should have just kept. It. Wait, upgrade zero percent because it's we already... could upgrade it. Was we had phasers <laughs> on Sputnik to this to the simulator. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just... Hang on, hang on, hang on. The following missions have ended. There's like a picture of a s like a cigar. It's a cigar yeah. They're smoking because it was a successful mission. Oh. The I guess that's what they it's did. Back, back in then. Yeah. Like after uh, Neil, I was do, like, I one do. small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's true. Like it, shut, it cuts to a shot of the. They're the all like, they're all wearing like, like these really big glasses and like that weird square 50s haircut. Yeah. And just smoking lots yeah. of cigars. And like waving little American flags. Ah, the 50s. Uh, a new budget for season.